Hello dear fashion bosses, how are you doing? Welcome to another tutorial. So in today's class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful fascinator. Okay, so I don't want to call it a baby's fascinator or a little child's fascinator because even an adult can rock it, okay? So if this is what you would want to learn how to make, please kindly stay to the end of this video. And whilst you're at it, do not forget to subscribe. My name remains Faith Abraham. Let us go straight to the table. Okay, so here are the materials we need for the project. I have my crinoline measuring 6 to 7 inches. Okay, I have my felt. Alright, I have my lighter. I have my roses, pocket rolls, and another kind of rose. I have my tape roll. And then, of course, I have my gun and wax. Okay? And then we have this fascinator that we have a tutorial video on, on the channel already. Okay? In the tutorial video, we learn how to make the roses, how to make the loops. It's actually a crinoline loop, but it looks like cinnamon. So avail yourself the video. And then we also have this trending hairband made from crinoline. We have tutorial video on the channel. Avail yourself and bring yourself up to speed. Okay. So I grab my crinoline. Okay. And then I measure. I measure about 12 inches. Okay. I measured about 12 inches and then I'm just going to cut it out. So we are trying to form the loop for the fascinator. And then you see me fold it two times. I fold it into two equal halves and then folded it again. And then bent it this way to give us a loop. Okay. You can rewind the video if you didn't get that. I had to trim off some parts because it was looking a little longer than what i want so it means our measurements went down to, to like about 10 inches instead of the initial 12 so i grabbed my needle and thread tacked it and then tie it firmly and properly okay you can wind back to see how i folded this if you didn't get it initially okay Alright guys, so I continue tacking to make sure that it is properly firm and then I cut off my thread when I was done tacking. So after that, I grabbed my lighter. Okay, first of all, cut off the excess um, parts I do not need. I grabbed my lighter and then I slightly burn the end. Okay, this is to prevent the crinoline or the loop from poking, okay, and then also keeping it, you know, secured for us. You know how crinoline can fray. So with this um, slight burning, it won't be able to fray, okay? So it just keeps it in place for you and give you durability. So I reproduce this loop in some quantity, okay? So I want to start putting this together now. I first of all grab two pieces of the loop and then I start tacking. Okay. So I just continue tacking um this loop together till I get a proper circle or something that looked like a rose i really do not know what style to call this if you have a name in mind you can drop on the comment section okay no one knows it all you know so i just continue putting this together and then i firmly tuck it okay so the number of loops you we have is determined by how big you want this um, fascinator to look at the end of the day and who is using it, okay? Is it a young person or an adult? So I just continue arranging all of this together, okay? And then I continued tacking after arranging, okay? I have to be patient a little, okay, 
to achieve this um this process so guys while trying to arrange this together you can just go ahead you know to smash on the subscription button if you haven't done that if this is your first time on this channel we welcome you okay so i just apply my glue gun you know at this point you know just to keep this in place for me whilst i continue tacking okay just a little glue gun and you gently do that so it does not spill to the part where you don't want it to get so you're always very careful when using your gums okay so just keep watching what I'm doing. Okay, it's not difficult. It's a simple tutorial, but very beautiful outcome. So smash on the subscription button if you haven't done so. I welcome you to this channel if this is your first time. And then if you are a returning subscriber, we say thank you for always stopping by. Yeah, on this channel, we upload sewing tutorial and headwear tutorials. So I'm done tacking and gluing, you know, at some point, just the middle part. And this is what we have. Okay, so we're almost done with this tutorial, guys. So after achieving your rolls or your round circle design, uh, I'm just going to introduce my felt. So I have this felt in two places because we're going to cover both the top and the bottom. So right now, this fascinator do not have a front or a back. You are the one that will determine what part you should use as front and as back. So I just applied my gum, you know, to um my felt and then the middle part of the fascinator and then I covered it up. This felt is to cover the rough part of the fascinator, you know, the middle part. Hope you understand, okay? So I actually made this felt from a white scuba fabric, okay? I just place a round circle on the fabric and then I cut this out so you can also, you know, adopt um, that um, idea if you don't have the real felt around you. So I place my other felt, you know, at the other end of the fascinator so you can see it's looking very neat and beautiful, okay? So after doing this, I'm just going to embellish it with my rows but before i embellish it with the rows we are going to before we embellish it we are going to first of all um glue our bush pin or our clip to it okay in the previous tutorial on that black fascinator i showed us I showed us how to sew your um, clip to your fascinator, but in this tutorial, we are just going to glue it, okay? So I just apply my glue to the back of the pin, and then I place it on the fascinator. Hold it down for a while so it's properly dried, and then stay in place for me, okay? So I have this little piece of fabric, you know, the same fabric I use as the felt, the white scuba. I'm just going to open up the clip this way and then place this fabric after applying my glue gun on it. So this actually holds your clip down to um, the felt, okay, giving it some, so, some form of durability, okay. Hope you also adopt this trick. All right, so if you've not subscribed, kindly do so. We're almost done with this tutorial, you know. And at this point, I'm just going to introduce my roses, cut off the parts of the stick on the roses that I do not need, you know. Apply my um glue gun to the back of the roses, and then I'm just going to glue it to the fascinator. And guys, we are done with this fascinator. It is so beautiful. It is so easy. It is so classy and elegant. So like this um, video. Give it a thumbs up. Okay. Drop your comments. So the assignment for this class is you just go ahead and list the materials we used in 
making this fascinator on the comment section and then we are just going to acknowledge you on our next video and then you may just be answering your way to a free ticket on our training okay so this is the end of the tutorial and this is the outcome you also saw the outcome you know on the head of the child you know on the thumbnail and this is what we have guys it's so beautiful like i said earlier an adult can use it and a child can also use it it has no limitation on who should use it okay all right have you subscribed please kindly do so if you have not my, my name remains faith abraham creative director of fashion boss innovations academy see you guys on our next video